Hey, Robert. Welcome back, guys, to episode three of the Astroneer Guide series. Today, I'm going to be going over the printer and basically all the basic blueprints that you can get before, you know, when you go out and you research more. And there's Nephew. He's making in a landing. Anyway, we're going to get back to uh, basically the basics, excuse me, the basics of what you can do with the printer. So the printer is basically going to, uh, it's basically your crafting table where you can print out certain uh, blueprints of like a large solar panel, storage unit, generators, batteries, etc. So I already went and got all the components for it. So we can just instantly, you know, look at them, what they do, and that'll be the episode. So the first one we're going to take a look at is the, what, which one are we going to go for? Let's start with the large panel first. So large panel takes two compound um, basically it's more of an efficient way rather than the, the solar panel that you can make on your backpack. Um, I think according to the wiki, it, it's just, it's more powerful. So let's get this out so you can take a look at it. Obviously we have two compound and bam, we can go. Just like that, you have the compound. Now this will... Maybe we should exchange... And then we'll put this... Okay. The solar panel, I forgot to mention, it needs two slots, so you cannot put it on the front of here, as far as I know. So it requires two slots, so you can put it on the rover, you can put it on a single platform, as I'm suffocating. Um... Yeah, it's just, it's just basically a bigger solar panel. Next one. Oops, no. Let's go over the storage unit, which we already have one. And the cool thing about the storage, I'll go over here once we get it. Let me just build a tether here real quick. So I don't die. So I want to keep running back. Okay. Storage unit. Basically, it's an upgrade from these two slots. So usually you get the standard two slot and then you have to you can create this to increase it to four. And the cool thing about this is that you can just transfer everything with it. So let me, let me move it over here and let's So you know, say we're out, you know, we got the rover, we put it on, so then I can take it directly right off the rover, you don't take it independently, and bam, just throw it on. It flattens out for you instantly. So yeah, that's the cool thing. Just that, I mean, that's what I did with this one. I smelted everything. This started over here, just to make it easier. Took it off of there, placed it there, so then I can just start with my crafting. I don't have to independently move them on. So storage unit just allows more of a maximum room for you to uh, to uh, carry. Though it, just like the solar panel, it, it requires two spaces, two slots, in order to connect. Next one, we have the wind turbine. Again, more like the solar panel. Requires two slots, but it's just a more powerful type of a, uh, um, it more of an efficient way to gain power. And then let's try to put it over here. Let's see. So I'll get that extended out, and we'll just put it right on there. Since we're not going to have any energy here soon, just a more powerful, more efficient way to get power. And I'm going to do. In the next video, I'm gonna. Sh I had this like idea of how to do these these little wind turbines, like a little nifty. I'll get into it next time. So let's get to the, on to the next item. Next item is a battery. I guess it's a way for you to store energy to take with you. I haven't really used it too much. It requires lithium, and you know what? I'll just demonstrate in this video. Um, no, we need the research. I'll just. Uh, do I get? You know what? Let's just get the research thing going up as well. There's Nephew. Let's give Nephew, nephew a little wave. As we bug out here. Let's get some resin on here. Okay, we need more resin. Real quick, I'll stop the video here so you guys don't uh, just deal with this. Alright, so you know what? I didn't mean to do that to you, so I guess we'll just add the research daily because it involves the printer as well, so we can go over all the basic. Um, I skipped ahead so I can just, you don't need to see me, you know, farming for compound. You already know what the puffballs look like. 
So again, you need to extend the platform out, platform out for one one resin, and then two to upgrade it to the to the module platform. And you just need two compounds to create the research. Now the research module is basically the I guess um, uh, it's going to be like these orbs that you find throughout the world. Let's find one really close. You can find them in trees. You can find them underneath plants. Um, and basically, they'll give you extra blueprints uh, to um, either blueprint, blueprints or research. So let's grab one because we're going to see lithium here. Just like that. They come all different shapes and sizes. Um, I believe you can attach them to your rover. And we'll test that out once we get the vehicle module up in the next video. So all you do with this, take it in here, and it's basically going to research it. I believe these ones that are attached to the plants will give us lithium so we can get that battery, so I can demonstrate the battery for you. Or it won't give me the battery. It's actually going to give me something to research. What do we research? Filters. I guess we'll go over filters too if I have enough space. I wanted to get lithium here. I was hoping it give me lithium. I thought it always gives you lithium, but I guess, I guess not. Unless after you've learned so much, it'll give you... Come on. Okay. So anyway, you get these, you'll get lithium. At least I thought you did. So real easy to find. Nothing... Again, you can find these down in caves. Again, there, there's different sizes. There's different... Not different sizes. There's different looking... Okay. Let's see if it gives us lithium. See enough he's going to bring me over one here. Okay, there's lithium. Okay, we just need one more. And then I will be right back so you don't have to see this either. Just we want to get lithium here going. And see, this is the cool thing about once you get this wind turbine. So you can just ignore the uh, the solar panel for, for so long, as long as you have some wind going. Just as you can see, the, the yellow bar is going into my habitat, and my habitat transferring the power that it's producing into my research. Because the solar panels aren't working. Okay, awesome. You get lithium. So we can go over the battery. Battery again is in order for you to store a large amount of energy. And then we're going to see if I can connect it over there to that module over there and see if it gets power. Come on. Just like that, it'll start transferring power into it. It requires two slots. Uh, I don't. I haven't fully used it. Like, I haven't really need oh hey I need this huge battery so I don't I think in the future down the road they'll it'll has its it'll have its uses but yeah it's basically larger battery in order to uh, contain a large amount of energy what's the next one we have we can do the battery generator generator is gonna I don't have coal but I'll just produce it anyway I guess coal you can find on other planets it's more of a rare um, resource and it just allows you to produce energy using coal instead of uh, wind and solar. So that's it's. I mean, it produces energy just basically that way. Um, I have yet to run into coal, so I think that's on like other planets. I haven't, unless it's rare, I haven't seen it. Moving on, we have the seat. Now the seat is just, just like it's in its name. It, this is what you're going to attach to your rover or your truck. You can make, I think you can make two of them. I mean, two of them will fit on one vehicle. So yeah, I mean, that's just, I mean, it's basically, it serves its purpose. I think that's, I think we win everything. Yeah, that's, that's it for the printer for now. Of course, when you go down to uh, caves, Nephew is nice enough to find us some stuff like this. So we'll just tie in the printer and the research together. Because the research, this is all you basically do with the research uh, module. So when you go down to the caves, when you, anywhere around the world, you'll find them on trees as you can see over there. 
and you'll get like a prompt like this in order to research. And it should give you a new blueprint. What do you give us? A trade platform. That'll be the next video we'll go over. Let's just keep going and see what else we can get. I think we're wanting to, if we can make a habitat. That's our next thing that we need to get. Awesome, we got another one. So it's going to research another blueprint for us. Power cells. I believe the power cells are for your shuttle. Awesome, another blueprint. Storage. I thought... I we already had storage. So it may give you duplicates. I'll go through it over there and see if... Awesome, another blueprint. Habitat, awesome. Next video, we'll go into the habitat to extend a further base out so we don't have to keep coming back here. So say we want to build over there. Basically plop that platform down. It's basically going to be like your town center for your Age of Empires players in order to, you know, because like I said, now I'm at four. Oh, I can build more. Can I build more? I didn't even know that. Okay. Anyway, it's like creating a forward base. So anyway, that's a little bit of the printer with the basic blueprints, a little bit of the uh, of the uh, research module as well. Research, you know, you get organic matter out of the out of the earth or the planet. Put in here to research, you'll get either resources or a new blueprint to research uh, to uh, create. Printer is just like in its name; it's just a basic crafting table where you can build more efficient, bigger um, uh, items. So we got to go over the habitat next, we got to go over the vehicle bay, and what was the other one that I had to go over? Vehicle bay, habitat, yeah, I think that was, I'm sure there's another one. But anyway guys, yeah, that's it for today. Um, I'll, don't forget to check out the smelter, how to get it up and running, how to get your printer up and running as well. Uh, don't forget to wreck that subscribe button, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey Robert! Thanks again guys for tuning in and watching today. If you liked what you've seen, don't forget to wreck that subscribe button. It's real easy. My emblem right there in the middle of the screen, hit it, bam, you're subscribed. We have two videos on the screen also right now. We have my most recent upload and a random playlist that I have. Social media is also in the description. We have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, and even Tumblr. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.